The next step is to mount the Z motors. So what you'll need is the two Z stepper motors. The one has the 400mm cable, the other one the 800mm cable. 8 M3 by 10 screws, 8 M3 washers, and then the frame that you've, the big frame that you've assembled up to now. So we'll take the big frame and the motor that the Z motor that will sit on the right hand side, that's the one with the 400 mm cable. The motor will go in from the bottom and we'll use the screws with the washer to fix them from the top. The same process will be followed for the other motor. To assemble the stepper motors, first we'll take the motor with the shorter motor, the, uh, the shorter cable, the one with the 400 mm cable and we'll insert it from the bottom into the big frame. Make sure that the cables are exiting the motors is facing to the, to the back and then we'll fix the motor from the top with the screws and the, and the washers. The same process will be followed for the other motor on the left hand side of the frame. When you're done with that, the assembly should look something like this. The next step is to mount the Y motor, that's the 48mm motor with the 500mm long cables. So what you'll need is the Y motor, 4 M3 by 10 screws, 4 M3 washers and one of the GT2 pulleys. To mount the motor we will place it in position. This is where it, it mounts onto the frame. So we'll make sure that the cables is exiting the motor to the back. We'll place the motor in place, in position. And we'll secure the motor from this side with the four screws with the, with the washers. Once you've tightened it, it should look like this. Make sure the motor is pushed as far as possible to the front in the slots provided. And then the final step is to assemble the pulley onto the shaft of the, of the stepper motor. In the next step we will assemble the Y carriage to the big frame. What we'll need for that is the Y carriage assembly, the two M8 threaded rods, 10 M8 nuts, 2 M8 dome nuts, 12 M8 washers and the assembly that we assembled previously for the, the front frame. The first thing that we'll do is we'll take the two threaded rods, we'll put on a M8 nut, we can screw it in a little bit like that, we can put on a washer Then we'll insert it through the holes provided. On the other side we'll put a washer and we'll put the dome nut. The dome nut we can screw in until it bottoms out. And then we can screw the other nut back. And then we can just torque them with the spanner. When we're done with that the assembly looks like this. Now the next step is to screw on two M8 nuts, one onto each rod, about up to halfway of the rod. Now the assembly looks like this and we'll put a washer onto each onto each rod and we'll insert this so that this is on, on top the um, linear rods will go into, into those holes so this is the top of this assembly and it will go through the holes provided into the big frame 
When we insert the threaded rods into the big frame, we put on another washer and another nut on both sides. And once we've screwed it in a little bit, we can add on both sides again another nut and then a washer. Once we've done that, we can further push the threaded rods through the, the plates at the back. And then we add the last two washers and nuts on at the back. Once we are this far, we can start to tighten the, the nuts towards the, the surfaces where they need to clamp. We can only put them more or less in place. It's not required at this stage to, to torque them because we first need to assemble the Y carriage. Now we will take the Y carriage and insert it so that the, the wires and the belt goes to the back. We'll insert the linear rods into the holes provided in the the flanges at the front and the back. Once we've inserted the linear rods, we'll push the front and the back towards it, each other and then we'll start to, to tighten up all the M8 nuts. Make sure that you don't overstress the, the frame when you, when you tighten these nuts. Once you are done with that and the frame is nice and stable, we can root the Y belt. So we'll take the, the belt and we'll root it around the motor up here around the bearing at the top and bring it back and secure it with, with a cable tie there. Once you've tied the, the Y belt to the other side as well and secure it with a cable tie, you can cut off the the end of the cable tie and now we can undo the motors of the Y axis a little bit move the push the, the motor down and tighten them again so that there's enough tension in the belt when we are done with that the assembly should look like this with the motor nice and tight there's some tension on the belt so what we'll do now is we'll position the, the pulley on the motor shaft that the belt is nice and aligned with the rest of the, the components and then we'll tighten the grub screws on the, on the shaft. Once you've done that, you can just check that your Y axis can move freely from the back to the front. And as you do that, the motor should should turn with it.